Edwin busting out the Pac-Man again. Uh, one of his old Smash 4 mains. Uh, yeah, it, now that I think of it, Edwin might be a, uh, a name that only like old school Smash 4 players would know because he didn't really show up during the, the, the later years. Yeah, um, yeah, because he went away to school. So he, he was actually playing a lot in uh, New England. Uh, well, not a lot, but yeah, he played some in New England. Uh, but yeah, man, Edwin's a player. He played Mega Man, Pac-Man, Sonic. So, and he's a pretty strong player in the New York team. So, and obviously John Numbers. <laughs> John of his inkling is a different beast. It, it really is. If you ever saw John Numbers Corn, you could understand why he plays like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. With, well, with that being said, um, you know, John's starting out pretty pretty fast with his 80% lead on Pac-Man. I think for what it's Yeesh. worth, like, John has the comfort when it comes to fighting this character. And even though Edwin's style of Pac-Man is very different from that of Sinji, uh, like, it's same. It's the same yellow ball that yeah. you have to fight. It's similar, just just better, but similar. Um, so right now, it, it just seems like John is taking the ranged approach, and that blaster just pushed away the pellet, and he got the and he got the pellet too. He no. stole it. That's hilarious. Yeah, each of the shots of the splatter shot have a little wind box attributed to them, very similar to that of Flood or. Can All we, right, can word. We so okay, that that was really good awareness by John. Mostly because he knew with the slant of the of Pokemon Sam that he wasn't gonna make it back to ledge cleanly. And he saw that trampoline and took he just he just took the opportunity. Great, like, it's great awareness, man. Like we meme on John for all of the things that he does that are like super quirky and not optimal. But then you, you get to see aspects of that in his play where he's just hyper aware and you oh. gotta appreciate it. Like there's just some things you gotta respect on John. Yeah. Um but yeah, Edwin actually got that bell and Expected to hit him with the up B, but uh, missed the punish. Yeah, back air. Yeah, good good stuff by Edwin catching uh, John's jump. And Pac-Man's back air got buffed. So that definitely can be a kill option while he's off stage. Like, it was already a very strong option. The bravest of men. And he went, so he definitely thought he was going to trade in tech, but he was at 0%, so I don't know why he would have thought that. But hey, you know, in the heat of the game, you want to tech everything, so. I mean, they both died really early. And while John, ha I, I don't know. Yeah. Like right John, now, John does John things. Yeah, but right now we have an even game. Um, and a game, then a, set, a game that's been mostly in John's favor is now up for grabs. Edwin turning it up a little bit with the six, with 63 to 57 percent lead. Like Edwin hasn't even been playing bad in the set. He's just, it's a very awkward fight. Inkling is fairly mobile, uh, able to cover a good amount of space, is able to challenge the projectile pressure from Pac-Man. Like we've been seeing a ton of the uh, the bomb come out from John, and it's doing a really good job of keeping the bonus fruit away. Yeah. So Edwin up being um, away from the pressure. Thing about that move is that used to be an unblockable. So that situation where he grabbed him and the grab break just happened would have never happened in Smash Four. If you're wondering. But um, it's kind of a shame to see a trampoline not be a uh, an out of shield option just to break away. Because it was like it always allowed Pac-Man a get out of jail free card, but. Now it's it's not as reliable. So you know the, the way John is playing this is kind of like kind of like how Diddy plays with his banana. He's playing at a, at a distance where he could throw the grenade, cover the get up option, and he's at staying at distance where he can cover the roll option. And uh, yeah, he tried to go for that roller to read the roll back. 152. Oh, what happened? Edwin started the trampoline to recover and then just curved way too much. I guess he thought he was going to be able to read. <laughs> Look at this interaction. Like, gets sniped with the bomb, comes to recover, thinks he's going to reach ledge, but he puts himself too far, wow. doesn't readjust his angle in hmm. time to get the second jump. He should have just waited to get the second I mean, jump. I wonder if the distances are different in this game, um, with each trampoline bounce, because um, that's something that everyone regularly would not do. So maybe it was slight miscalculation, changing the balloon, excuse me, changing the trampoline bounce, who knows? But uh, we're gonna run that back. Apparently, we're gonna run. We're gonna run that back to Battlefield. All right. Um, a lot easier of a stage to uh, control with Pac-Man's tools. But mm -hmm. oh, I feel like it's a bit of a dangerous stage for Inkling, just because the uh, Splat Bomb is gonna be able to cover so much space. And then also, this is a solid stage for the sake of comboing. We haven't seen a lot of it come out from John, but Inkling does have a solid combo. Game. And that anticipation by Edwin, he was waiting for John to press a button, and he gave it to him. And he got the parry and put John off stage, and now um, gave John a quick 43%. What's happening? Okay. okay. Get up, yeah, get up attack is completely invisible, invincible. So he's not gonna get how to get up attack, get hit out of that by doing that. So.
Good, good option there, John. Because of the invincibility on getup attack, there are some times when it, it's the safest option. Like, even if you don't intend to hit with it, it's it's really strange. Yes, it, it's um, it's something that, with a game with less defensive options, is a good saving grace. Because you don't want to explode on every single thing in this game. Right. <laughs> so. Okay, good good down smash coverage. Got a little bit of pain on, on Edwin. <laughs> he wants the side beast so bad. We've seen it come out multiple times, but the roller is just not able to connect. And I think it's just because Edwin's been staying in the air a lot. He's been making sure to stay mobile. And obviously you can't get grounded if you're in the air. Wow, and um, I don't know if John did that on pur purpose, but he hit the trampoline to take it down a notch. Because you could actually hit the trampoline and force Pac-Man into situations he doesn't want to be in. But with that being said, we have uh, Pac-Man 134%. And right now, it's like even game. And just like you said, the get-up attack is getting him out of that situation. All the spot bomb coverage from John is just brutal. <laughs> I love the patience from Edwin. He's not even committing to like, any intense movement. He's just walking back and forth, waiting for an opening in the orange. to yeah. his first time. And I'm loving this approach from Edwin. He's taking this way slower than he did in game one. And he's letting John come to him and run into some of these traps. And uh, the interaction with Roller was interesting because it stopped Roller completing his tracks and gave Edwin ample time to punish. Yeah, I think John was banking on the Roller being strong enough to knock it away, but it is worth noting at the end of that interaction, Roller ran out of ink. It's not Ooh. nearly as strong and it's not nearly as fast when it's out of ink. Yeah, and a lot of Inkling's moves don't function when, she, when he or she does not have ink, so. Yeah, it's something that John has to stay aware of. And it's something that all Inklings need to be cognizant of, because keeping a track on that ink meter is pivotal to just having all of your tools at the ready. You need to have your resources, man. That Earth. was some coverage. <laughs> John was not only ready for taking the last jump of the trampoline, but he also put a hitbox out in case Edwin tried to do anything cheeky. I love it. Yeah, good stuff by John. But um, Edwin's still with the lead, and... The, the string by Edwin got the up up throw to up air. Not sure if that's true, but got John a quick 78%. Man. Edwin's still playing it out super patiently, and it's working out so well for him. And it just fits in well with Pac-Man's kit and his classic play style. He's always been a very patient uh, trap-based character, and he awards that style of play. Yeah, and the thing about it is, like, interacting with Inkling sometimes, and when you try to rush Inkling down, the low profile kind of messes some of your approaches. So the range approach to this isn't, you know, isn't really bad. Um, it's a, it provides a lot less interactions with Inkling up close where you don't want to get whiff punished for something silly. John finally responding to a lot of this patient approaching from Edwin just runs up and grabs, but I feel like he's not going to be able to get a lot out of these uh, throws. He's not really aiming for stage control, and Edwin hasn't had an issue with coming back off this. <laughs> Yo, okay, so that 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 would have been hilarious if he just. <laughs> oh no, he's completely covered in ink now. He's orange. That's they finally gave us a good color for back then. <laughs> That's hilarious. Edwin literally tried to bully his way through just to get that belt. If he if he did if he had any other item, like if he had orange, key especially, melon, he would have exploded. He would have actually just doused him, but Spider Shot <laughs> did not respect Bell at all. Yeah man, but with that being said, at even percents right now, 42%. Ooh, and did not get that whiff punish on the roller that he wanted. John's out of ink has to reload. He's not able to get that much. Now he's finally able to fill up his stop. What is he doing? Why? I brought up the wind box that comes out of the Splatter Shots Inc. earlier, but I, I would like to point out it's not a good wind box. It's not an abusable one by any means. It's not like Flood. It's about as effective as maybe Villager's watering can. I, I, I want I wanna I wanna think that he was doing it so he could push him away in case he uh upbeat. Um but you know, nonetheless, he still got the stock, so. We still have a slight lead by John at 157%. Yeah, Edwin's got to end out the stock and he's looking to try and take this back. It's been a lot more of a convincing game in his oh, case. The water pushed him through to get that grab. What, where's John going? Okay, yeah. other side. Okay, good stuff by John. There's a there's a good amount of the stages that John can just get away with that. <laughs> so Edwin tried to walk up and forward till 10. Kind of trying to catch him off guard, but... How's after catching him off guard? Just let the key roll immediately. I like it. Yeah, and uh, the interaction was a little funny because uh, Edwin got pushed off the stage. So when John went to go punish punish with dash attack, he kind of just got hit. So. Ooh. 
Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, trying to get the damage because he wasn't in range to get like a harder punish. Yeah, and if anything, he's going to get more and more of that damage while the ink is on. He's completely coding Pac-Man. Okay, I went at 135%, and John tried to read his get-up option with Roller. Okay. All right. And it's to the clip, boys. Forward smash at the ledge, and he, that's going to be the 2-0. He did it. He, he went the whole set without doing it. Yeah, he finally did it. I mean, oh, man. Um, good stuff by John. You know, just mostly in control of that set. <laughs> um, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin was taking really taking it back in game two. But um, yeah, he he adapted really well. Yeah.